Hey everybody, today I'm going to do the app review on Air Server. So what this app does is it lets you stream your iOS devices screen just like you would you normally do it with an Apple TV on AirPlay. Let's you use AirPlay on here and put it on there. So before this came out, it was pretty much impossible to do that unless like you synced it to um, iTunes and then you kind of got pictures of the home screen of where the apps would be arranged, but that's still not showing what you would use. So like if I scroll on here, it would show on there. So it would show everything that I do. And that's what's one of the neat features about this app. So right here, we have the um, options about Air Server check for updates, launch at startup, troubleshoot, edit, rebroadcast services preferences, and quit Air Server. So um, there's no um, there's nothing that you would really need to change in here unless you want to launch at startup, which is a good idea. And so there's no setup at all of this. Like, so if you have a Mac, if you have this, if you're smart enough to go on Safari and download that, install it, there's no setup required at all for this. It's really, really easy for someone that's not the best with technology here. So um, it's going to be super simple. So um, after you install it and set it up, it's just going to start sending out um, AirPlay signals here where I don't own an Apple TV right now but if I go here I automatically have that AirPlay icon right on my iPad mini so I like I said I don't have an Apple TV or anything else that's actually going to use AirPlay I don't have any AirPlay speakers nothing like that this is the only thing I have is this app which um so I um, so it just automatically recognizes it, which is really great. There's no setup required on here. There's no setup required on here. All you do is just double click your home button, go over here, get that AirPlay icon, select it for your device that you want to use, and that's it. So um, you go to your multitasking bar, click that AirPlay icon. Um, it will currently be checked for iPad or whatever device you're using. I'm using my iPad Mini, and it will say the name of the device that you want to hook up to and mine right now says Madeline because that's the name of my computer I know it's kind of silly but I name my um, devices the iPad mini that's page the iPad 3 Penda my iPhone 5 that's Pepper so you select the device that you want to make sure that mirroring is on so that's what we're going to do here is actually have it be mirrored and because if you don't select mirroring um, you can just play music right from your iPad without having to connect any cables which is really really nice and um, you can stream pictures that's it but so we want mirroring on for this case but I'll show you more information show you and tell you more information about not having mirroring on in a little bit so as you can see I have it's exactly mirroring what I'm what's shown right now so it's just like that I'm gonna pull the iPad mini away for right now so you can get a better look at this screen and so you, this is just an example of how smooth the scrolling is on here it's a little choppy let me just show you here so scrolling and then see and you can see in real time how choppy it is you could judge for yourself so it might be a little choppy but what do you expect you're streaming your entire device through air what do you expect from streaming this through air and putting it on your device what do you expect from there you can't expect perfect quality here um, so this is just the mirroring part of it um, let's do a, play a couple games here just to show you how um, how responsive this is 
Um, so for, to the games, there is sand. I have my speakers hooked up to the computer, but the sand's currently off. So um, you're not going to hear sound. But if there's sound on your um, device in the game that you're playing, it's going to automatically stream that also to your computer. So let's just play a game. I'm not going to show you how um, how it looks on my screen because you can kind of see for yourself. It's kind of going if it's choppy or not. You can tell for yourself. And I'll just tell you right now that on the iPad and on the um, Mac, they are in sync. So, um, so it's just showing you right now that they are both in real time, not out of sync at all. Okay, let's just try one more game. How about this one? Let me just turn my speakers on so you can hear the game. Sometimes when it's not responding the best, it's it might partly be your Wi-Fi connection. And um, also when it isn't responding the best, the sand might get um, a little um, choppy also. <clears throat> Whoops. Okay, so, um, now let me tell you more about the streaming, the music, and the pictures. Okay, so now as you can see, um, I don't have, um, AirPlay on, the icon's not there. So now let me show you how the streaming, the pictures, and, um, music works. Let's just do pictures first. Um, so, I don't have a lot of pictures to show you right now because I just got my iPad mini, um, yesterday so um, um, in the photo app you can tap and then in between the share and the delete button there will be um, an airplay icon and again I just select my computer and then um, instead of mirroring the um, the screen how it is it actually takes the picture on here and puts it on there because like if you see I bring up the um, option bar it doesn't show up there so um, I can just swipe through my pictures and um, what's well, really nice about this whoops it was stuck there what's nice about this though is it, it gives you this really nice fading feature when you do it it it's kind of like a slideshow instead of just automatically switching like um like it would like on here it just gives you that nice fading feature which is kind of cool so let me just turn this off right here and let's do music so you just go into your music app right here and then again by the volume you'll see the airplay icon so then if I want to select my computer again that it's like that nothing will actually show up on the screen but if I want to um but if I play it it shows you the album icon right there just like that so um and I just didn't have that on for um while just because it's copyrighted so but trust me it does work so um that's just how you can stream your photos and music through AirPlay. Another cool feature is that you can actually stream more than one screen on the on your computer. So let me just hook up my iPad mini with mirroring on. And as you can see that is there. And let me take my iPad 3 and also hook this up for the mirroring.
Okay, so what it does is it takes your two screens just like that. As you can see, I just locked my iPad 3, but what? But it keeps that um that page right there. And as you can see, I name my devices, so it says Penda, and it shows the size of the screen, 540 by 720. And when I unlock it here, it shows that lock screen. See, insane. You can do a lock screen for both. Just like that. And, um, so, um, you can do more than, um, one screen, which is really cool. Also, if you um, have a video in the um, photo app, you can just go the AirPlay icon. Again, click this. So you can see it will mirror that for the most part right there. But like, just like the photo, you have this bar right here, and it doesn't show up there. So it's giving you a full screen viewing of the pit of the movie. And then when I select this video to play, here, it plays it right here, but um, I can put this full screen. I have my video controls right here to play it, right here, and then when I'm playing it right here, on the iPad it says um, the AirPlay, this movie is now playing on Madeline, so it's not playing on this device while it's playing on this, which is, I think, just cool. Now, in the um, actual mirroring screen, there's this little icon at the bottom, right there, which lets you click it, and it changes the size of the screen. So let me show you what I mean here. I click it once. And just seeing what it does. This is how it comes standard, but I like the wider feature like that. But then you get you get four different sizes just like that. So now more information on the app itself. You go to AirServerApp.com, and I'll have a link. I'll definitely have a link in the description below for that. And um, so um, one of the really neat features though is that it supports full 1080p HD. So, um, if you're that type of person that likes really good quality screens, then this is the one for you. Um, and um, I know there's one more service that lets you do this, or that I know of, and you can actually record the screen, but it's really not that much harder to actually go download a free app from the App Store, like screen, just like a screen capture tool. And you can do that for free, and um, you can still record your screen. So um, just like that. Now let's um, talk about pricing. It, um, this is um, the only one that I've seen that both supports Mac and a PC. Um, so you can get a seven-day free trial and using one Mac. And you get that full version for seven days. You can get the standard license, which is what I think we have here. Is I think that's the one that I got. It's fifteen dollars, but it runs up to five max. You can get the student license for twelve dollars, running up to three max, and the commercial license for four dollars with up to one Mac. And um, we and it's the same story for the PC. Same numbers, same number of computers, same prices. So, um, if you have any questions about this app, you can leave a comment in the description below, and I'll try, to, not in the description below, in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer your question. And be sure to check out this app. Special thanks to the people who sent me this app to review. I really, really like this app, and um, go check it out. Thanks for watching.